Okay, here we go. Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. This is Purity White Cloud channel, hosted by your pal Purity White Cloud. This video will also uh, be hosted by I Will Be Derned, my other channel. So, let's get with it. What we're going to do today is make a ghetto prepper breakfast. A little bit of it's ghetto. Most of it's really regular. So let's do this. Oh, it's clean, imagine. So, what we're going to make is breakfast burritos. I hope. Hang on. As if by magic, I had to find my tortillos. <laughs> so, let's move on. Okay, so what we need most of it out here, but we'll need some eggs, everybody knows how to do eggs. I'm going to use four eggs for this recipe because uh, these eggs are so small these days, and I'm telling you true, boy, I mean, you know, I have, uh, these are half frozen, lucky I'm scrambling them. All, you know, my family life, with my family, right, I've done the shopping. Ooh, they're frozen. That doesn't matter. Right? So, uh, I mean, I could get a PhD in, uh, you know, economics, family, health and services. I don't know how to put it. They are frozen. I don't to adjust that. Anyway, I'm going to throw an extra egg in there, because I might make some for later. Look at that. Yeah, comes out a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so, you know, all my life, 30 years, I've done the shopping, I've done everything, even the cooking, the whole nine yards, for this family of seven members. Eight, but, you know... <laughs> Seven living, right? And uh, hang on a minute. I, you know, I've seen these eggs. I've seen prices of you know cereals and everything. Shake your milk. I put a smidge of milk in my eggs. It helps them uh, blend better, but not too much. And don't do it for omelets because it makes the shell too thin and they tear. Chopstick. Now I know this is fun. See, that chopstick really works. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows how to scramble eggs, so let's move on. Beautiful. You know, I've seen these eggs get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You know? Turn on our burner. Now with these iron skillets I've found, you got to cook a few notches lower than what's normally done. And all those legs, I should cook them all. What I might do with this, since these are like this, how many cracks do I have? One, two. And what I'll do with this is I'll soak it in the water and get them loosened up, and get them out of this. And I'll make a bunch of these, and what I'll do is I'll freeze them, you know, for breakfast later. Yeah, that bug boy is going to come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make more, because I have two more flats of these eggs. Right. And this is how I've always bought eggs, you know, by the two flat, because I've had, you know, I'm running a restaurant, daycare center, hotel, home kind of thing. So this is the level I've had to do it for 30 years or better. Now, now, like, you know, you can say, well, you don't have your kids here anymore. Um, they come in and out, right? So i got to keep my edge going and uh, let this pan warm up. Then we'll go to what our, we're going to use our red pan for. Red pan. Uh-oh. Can you see that? Yep, red pan. And uh, back in a second. 
and I ran out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> and I don't let me get my brain loaded back up. Okay, we're back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trade projects. That over there. This up here. So we've got our pan. We're going to put some water in it. This is the way they do it in restaurants. They don't, won't use this here pan. They'll use a far bigger one. What they actually do is... Uh, how's it going to do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Let's stop here. We're going to cook on the back burner so I can use the front burners to work. So that'll go there. This will get started. Go like this. We still see? Oh yeah, good, 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 good. What they'll use is a... Uh, oh my head. The salad dressing thing is at the salad bar. All right, I'll get these off of here. And then what fits in them is a uh, the silverware thing for the dish the dishwasher, right? And they'll put one in the other. But what they'll do is you got that hot ham and cheese going on, right? You're thinking, man, these guys really kick some butt. No, they don't. What they do is they'll take their ham, right? And as per order, let's see, we're making four. We'll make four today. They'll throw it in that little sieve, then throw that sieve and all into the hot water. Let it heat up a second, and all this is on a grill. This would not be a burner. Picture this. This whole thing would be a grill. And you would cook just like this. And then, you know, over on the side, you'll have burners for specialty eggs, this, that, you know. You know. So let's get this one. Really going. Okay, got this going. Need a little bit of oil. What we're going to use today that I got here recently because on the behest of a good, very good friend of mine to kind of improve my health and quit eating some of the things I eat, we're going to go with. The Rand coconut oil. See if I can improve my status. No, oh, that didn't work, did it? Anyway, so much for that. Musical interlude. <laughs> Um, also, if you see here, I put my plastic thing right in this coffee can so I can deflect heat and it won't melt that. So we're doing this, having that, heating this, and uh, what they'll do is they'll toast your bread on the grill, right? This will be in that hot water, it's already hot, so it'll only take minutes, right? And uh, they'll fish it out with the tongs. Make your stuff after they grill the bread, french fries, and that's how it's done. They don't heat it up like, you know, special. And, you know, yeah, you're not so special in the old restaurant. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's heating up nicely. We'll do this part. I'm going to make some french fries with this. Because, you know, how else would it, you know, what else would you have? And we'll be back in a second. Alrighty then. So what you want to do here is um, you don't want to boil, especially sliced ham, because it will. All right, dear. See you in a minute. It will curl on you. Boy, these chopsticks are handy. There we go. Now that that's hot, we'll throw our eggs in. A little bit icy. Have a scraper. As being as ghetto as I am, boy, I like to get every you know bit of that egg out of there. You know, because if you're hungry, you can always lick it out of the bowl, but it's you know eggs. 
So cool. We get them with. Take our tortillas. One, two, three. Maybe four. We'll see how the, the ingredients go. Oh, yeah, four. And if I don't eat them all, I can, you know, put them away for later. To get our plate. Like I said, this would be a grill, and they would. This is how they do it anyway. <laughs> That's handy dandy right there. A little hot. See, this burner cooks hot, boy. Got to know their, you know, their character. say because that weakens your shell. Look at that. Right now, boy. Ooh, that's hot. Anyway, let me tell you something, people. Um, this is fun and all, and this, and I get these quips and tricks and tricks and, you know, trade and all that, and I have fun playing music. But uh, this is tough. It can really, really be a hardship on your mind. And, uh, you know, I've done this so many years that, uh, man, my head... And it, it's getting kind of to where I'm like, man, I just, not that I can't do it, I'm just getting tired. You know, and like with the prepper standpoint, since we're, you know, that's my theme. I couldn't imagine, you know, can you imagine being on the edge for several years, the way it would be, or might could be, when uh, things aren't like they used to be. You just get, you know, you, it wears on you. I'm just saying, this is a report. I, you know, I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me or this and that. I'm just reporting my observations, you know, the physical and mental health of someone that uh, has to live on the edge. I, I should be <laughs> that... Uh, you know, for the first year or so, depending on how uh, the caliber of hardship, how hard the hardship is, because it's not hard for me, right? But, you know, it's not that got awfully hard because there's facilities and this and that. But imagine if there was nothing. So two years, say, it's okay, now those are done. Um... With real, real hardship, it would wear on you. Man, it'd take a chunk of your brain out and play basketball with it. 
Five years of hardship. That's not so hard. Um, you know, then, then that's when it kicks in and start playing basketball with your brains. Seven and eight years of really not that hard, but never gets any better. Right? Look at that. that beautiful? Now what we're going to do... We'll grate our pink salt in. I like this. This stuff's a lot better than the iodized or that white salt. And uh, it's just not as salty, but it still gives you the flavor you're looking for. So I'm with this. Um, man, the toll it takes after six, eight years, after uh, being on the edge and Low income like this, yeah, there's things coming in, yeah, you're getting stuff. What you're going to have to watch for is, uh, um, I would call survivor fatigue. You know what I'm saying? To where, man, day in and day out, unless it improves, um, it's going to get raw. Because I haven't had any real improvement. It's just been I've been getting along. And, uh, wow, it gets tiresome. But I'm good at it, isn't I? Eggs are done. Awesome. When you cook eggs, right, shut them off just before they're done, you know, a little bit before, because they will continue to cook. And that way they won't get stiff and rubbery. Beautiful eggs. Done with the eggs. We'll put them over here. Thingy over here. And uh, back in a second, because I'm going to put the potatoes on. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, we're back. This is the potato section of my video. <laughs> Episode, there you go. Um, now, I did make a little bit of a mistake. Always start your potatoes first. Now, in the restaurant, right, potatoes always go on the grill first. They are so forgiving. You know, you could really... Kind of take a, you know, like, oh, day kind of thing with potatoes. And they, you know, they say, oh, it's okay. We'll wait right here for you. Right? And I'm serious. So what I did was I cut a potato. And uh, everybody knows how to cut potatoes. I particularly, I'll show you. Let me get a potato. When I make these fries, right, peeled potato, I'll just cut a little bit off the end. That way it can set up like that. And I can whittle them up really good with the old knife here. See that again? Okay. And um, they cut up pretty good, see? Now, Prepper Princess, she has one of those nifty little uh, potato maker presses, you know, French fry press. I had one, and we just wore that thing out. We made so many French fries. She has a 3 8 cut, which is about what these are. I myself, I prefer quarter inch. They cook quicker, so there'll be less time in the fryer, as it were, and you know, less energy, and um, they just, to me, they're better. It's what I always cooked in the restaurant. They were always quarter inch fries, unless it was dinner. Then you'd go three eighths. Then if you had steak fries, you know, they'd be the, like almost wedges. That's how they do that. So you know, you know, you'll come up with this little, little wedgie. Hey, throw that in there. And then sometimes I'll just cut these, you know, like cottage fries if I'm lazy, which is quite a bit. And always wash them. If you don't wash them, they'll stick together in the grease and they won't cook, you know, as individuals and, and you'll have raw spots in it. Another thing with potatoes, if you have very little food, say I only had an egg to split between three people or two of you, like kind of thing make a buttload of potatoes because this is your filler this is where you know you fill your belly and then you'll have the protein and the other stuff that you you know to knock off the old hungries with so what we're going to do is we're going to throw them in the old grease here there we go now on with my conversation while we watch these air fries fry um, my mistake, 
with my problems of getting uh, uh, breakdown fatigue, right? And when you get it, boy, you start making mistakes. You'll take and uh, say like, I only cooked. This is only one potato I cooked in here. You know, two potatoes are a lot of potatoes, and you know, you swell up and lots of potatoes in here. And uh, you say, oh man, <laughs> you know. Forget it, I'm gonna make 10 potatoes because I want something to eat, man. Right? And that's where you start, you know, dropping the potato and making mistakes. And now a mistake like that isn't really that big a deal. But just think if you went off and, you know, they say, hey, we're little potatoes, bruh. <laughs> oh, I got mad and I ate them all. And I go, oh, really? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, the other mistake, the mistake I'm making is lack of activity. Um, I set up the old computer there, you know, and just don't do much. And that's another f real, bring you some real fatigue. Because then, you get relaxed, laid back, and you get weaker. Then things are more of a chore. And that, you know, then you're saying, man, this is hard. I said, well, last month it wasn't hard. You're right, because you were stronger then. So keep yourself semi-fit no matter what. Always keep a jolly smile on your face or you get, you know, bad. Let me get a thing here for my potatoes. Potato thingy. going on, I was just, you know, and plus, man, after a while, you just get to where, you know, I'm just, I can't take it, even if things are semi-easy, if there is hardship in it, and it's chronic hardship, it's gonna, it's gonna wear on you, it's gonna rub you the wrong way, somehow you gotta do something jolly, like music, there's some people asked about music, and how you would, uh, like, preserve it. You know, for listening to later, and you know, this kind of this and that. Which is, I think it'd be important. You know, something to cut loose a little bit. You know, put the old concern, cares and concerns on the back burner. You know, it would be a must. It would be an absolute must. Um, I have some extraordinary things going on. My daughter came in, uh, you know, out of the wilderness, as it were. You know, pregnant, single, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now I have that extra word when I thought she's 24. I'm like, what, well, you know. But, you know, I'd like to help and I'm good at it. But that stresses you. And, uh, you know, if you've got a system to where it's working and then something comes in and kind of puts a stressor on it, I kid my life to. Uh, like I'm saying, I'm in a submarine, right? And boy, you gotta sail your submarine, right? And you, you know, eat, eat, eat with the valves and this and that, and the lever is just so right. Then somebody comes in and goes, eee! and you go, bong, 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 and you sink, right? You can't have them levers, you know. You can't have someone coming in and twist your valves without effects. Hope that made sense. <laughs> So, you know, that's it. All right, we're going to let these fry up. And then we're going to go back to the old, we're going to make the old uh, burritos right now. Let me get back over there. Okay, we're back on the grill. So when you make your burritos and you toast up your burritos right, always flip them over when you're ready. That way you'll have the coolest first. So off we go. Ah! What stuff? So, we'll go with, uh, piece of this, oh, you can buy some of this, I'm going to teach them your Taco Bell roll. Um, now we're going to give credit to Zoe Reed, want to be on? Yeah. She taught me the Taco Bell roll. And that's what we're going to do right now. I should have her do it and just be your hands on here. 
Okay, here, watch this, guys. Wait, are you going to put any on there? Yeah, a few. Now there's, only, there's got four tortillas. you got to stretch them that far. Okay. Right. You center frame because that was good. You get you over here. Here's your makings. Mm -hmm. Ham first, Chief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. It's looking good. Job. Thank you, Zoe. That was Zoe Reed showing you the Taco Bell roll. Now let's see if I can do it. Well, thank you, dear. Cheese. Well, this all goes in the middle. Okay. All right, thanks. Egg. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Send them kids out in the wilderness while they come back with some good stuff. Now she went like this. Like this. Then like this. Squish your stuff in. Fold your corners. And roll it. Voila. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Is that cool or what? <laughs> salt and pepper in the eggs so you wouldn't have to open your burrito and you know if it's not right with it. You can put salsa in but we don't have any. I think we got a little bit. It was kind of icky. It was too wet. It wasn't chunky. How do we do that? Like that. Like that. Squishy. Okay. Roll a little bit. Do your corners. And whoosh. There's our breakfast burritos. Look at that, how that works. Voila. All right, let's go to potatoes. Okay, we're back at the fryer. So, potatoes are done. Fish them out and have a look. I tell you what, these fryers are handy dandy. You can uh, cook all kinds of stuff. You don't have to use it just for deep frying. You can boil in it. You can, you know, all kinds of things. Find a basket or something, and you can probably steam veggies. I've lost the basket. I have it around, but, you know, you can steam veggies in it, I'll bet. You can do all kinds. I'm going to really come up with some ideas for this here. The fryer. Beyond fryer. I've cooked popcorn in it. All kinds of things. Now that's done. Take that. Carefully remove this. Push this over in the corner. Try to cool off. And voila. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go. Ah, ice cube tray. Got in my way. What the hey? I'm fill you today. Alright, here's our fries. Where's our pink salt? 
Now, pink sauce is a little rough on the fries because it comes out so chunky. It doesn't stick like you would like. You know? There's some fine grain pink salt I have up in the, uh, in my, uh, the big bin I put the pink salt in. Let's have a look. Mmm, good, great, beautiful. Totally fantastic. So now, let me shut it off. We'll go to the table and have us a burrito and some fries. Alrighty then, let's dig in. Oh man, oh, that's another thing. Oh, that, that, let me get that here. Better frame. Jupiter belly. <laughs> the restaurants except for that beard here another mistake I made a little bit was uh, <coughs> still didn't get that in frame it's hard to get in frame when your belly blocks everything How's that? oh that's good never cook with your hair down I put my hair up right away when I oh man <coughs> and got with it because that gets ugly you never, you never think that it, it happens. Alrighty. Burrito with the Taco Bell roll. Mm, good. Now what? So there it is. Get a burrito, burrito breakfast with home fried. Go home fried. And homemade Taco Bell roll. Breakfast burritos. And that's how you do it. All right. Do it by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye. I'm going to sit here a second, see if I can edit the end off. Okay.